It could soon get much busier at the border why the government is expecting an influx of migrants. Plus, a way to make some fast cash, the unusual job you could land, and it involves watching the Fast and Furious movies. Sounds like something I'd sign up for. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You're watching The Rundown. I'm Robin Winston. We'll have more on those stories coming up in a moment. But first, after this week, the government will no longer offer free COVID-19 tests. That's because the public health emergency is coming to an end. For two years, the federal government has been reimbursing health insurers for the cost of up to eight COVID tests each month. The feds also set up a website to order free test kits mailed to homes. You can still get four test kits until next week on the government's website, covid.gov. You'll have to act before Thursday. That will also be the last time you can get reimbursed for your COVID tests through your insurance. Officials are expecting a huge surge of migrants coming to the U.S.-Mexico border as a restrictive border policy ends this week. The law, known as Title 42, allowed border agents to automatically turn away migrants without documents, and that law is ending this Thursday. That means asylum seekers who were turned away during the pandemic can resume requesting asylum within the U.S. The border region near San Diego is also expecting an influx of migrants, so some residents are teaming up with activists and humanitarian workers to distribute supplies at the border. Part of what feels tragic to me is that some of the people here may not have enough information to make the best choices about how best to um, seek entry to our system. The White House is sending 1,500 troops to the border to provide operational support to immigration officials. The Hollywood writer's strike had a major impact on the first award show to take place during the WGA's labor dispute with the studios. The MTV Movie and TV Awards happened Sunday night in Santa Monica, but the live show was canceled. Instead, it was pre-recorded with winners accepting awards by video, and many of them touched on the strike in their acceptance speeches. Almost all great comedy starts with great writers, and and. I just think that, you know, as a proud member of SAG, you know, I stand here before you tonight, you know, side by side with my sisters and brothers from the WGA. Hello, hello. Many celebrities, including host Drew Barrymore, pulled out of the show in solidarity with the WGA, but Barrymore did appear in a pre-taped piece to accept an award. Comcast, the corporation that owns our parent company, NBC Universal, is one of the entertainment companies represented by the AMPTP. The NBC Universal News Group also has some employees represented by the WGA. It's a new week with a new forecast. Meteorologist Belen De Leon is here to break it down with the rundown of your weather. Hi there. We're starting off the work week with beautiful weather, sunny skies, slightly warmer temperatures, 70s inland. Now we do have a little dip in the temperatures Tuesday into Wednesday because of a storm system that will be brushing us to the north. It'll bring us a small chance for some rain. And if you're a fan of the warmer weather late this week, it's going to feel a little more like summer. Now here's a look at the chance for rain in Los Angeles. We only had about a 10% on Tuesday. Most of the day will be dry once the sun goes down and in the overnight hours is when we could see some light rain, but it is going to be low impact. It'll be out of the picture by Wednesday morning, not expecting for it to cause huge problems as far as our travel goes. Now look at the temperatures. With that small chance for rain, temperatures on Tuesday in Van Nuys dip to about 69, back to 72 on Wednesday, 75 on Thursday, then comes the heat. Friday 85 and over the weekend, temperatures are expected to reach the 90s. Eight people were killed and seven others were hurt when a gunman opened fire in the crowd at an outlet mall in Texas. It's the second deadliest mass shooting in the U.S. this year. New dash cam video appears to capture the moment the alleged shooter got out of his car and began firing. And we want to warn you, it may be hard to watch. Police identified the shooter as 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia. They say he had interacted with neo-Nazi and white supremacist content online. The gunman was killed by a police officer who was nearby on an unrelated call.
The federal government is implementing a new set of rules that will require commercial airlines to compensate passengers for flight cancellations or significant delays. Airlines will also have to provide a meal or meal voucher for passengers as well as alternative lodging if they are impacted by quote controllable flight delays or cancellations. Companies will also have to provide timely customer service when there are widespread flight irregularities like the ones we saw with Southwest Airlines during the winter holiday travel season. California's Reparations Task Force approved a plan for the state to compensate for slavery. It calls for billions of dollars in reparations as well as a public apology. The task force was created by Governor Newsom two years ago after the killing of George Floyd. It heard testimony from over 130 witnesses, including scholars and descendants of slaves. Over the weekend, the panel gave final approval to a long list of proposals, which includes payments to black Californians who are eligible. Reparations are not a luxury for our people, but a human right long overdue for millions of Americans. Millions of Americans. The compensation would be based on three categories, housing discrimination, over-policing, and health disparities. State lawmakers will now consider these recommendations. Many college seniors are now making their decision about the college they will attend. It's very exciting, but can also be pretty stressful for seniors and their families. But one downtown L.A. high school recently celebrated their seniors in a way you may not expect. NBC 4's Alex Rozier has that story. Every year, colleges across America consider potential students. And when the admission process is over, some celebrate acceptance. I chose Los Angeles City College. While others celebrate... <laughs> Rejection? If you're going to be resilient, then you have to face something that didn't happen and didn't go your way. Linda McGee is a college counselor in L.A.'s downtown Magnets High School, also the founder of their college rejection party. She's trying to teach students that rejection is part of life, and sometimes it has nothing to do with you. Colleges have their own objectives. You know, we, we need more football players who play violin. I don't know. If you don't fit what they're looking for, it doesn't mean you're not good enough. It just means that's not what they're looking for right now, and they chose someone else. I was rejected from a couple of the Ivy Leagues. Pomona College, uh, Claremont McKenna. Princeton and Dartmouth and Columbia. At the party, students shred their rejection letters. <laughs> and this year, Andy Liang was crowned king. How many do you have? 17. The highest number I got was nine from a friend. I was like, and I counted how many I had. I was like, oh, I won. <laughs> and guess what? It still worked out. Andy's going to UC Santa Barbara, while others are going to UCLA, even Harvard. Well, I'm glad I got those rejections, because at the end of the day, I'm ending up where I need to be. So if you weren't accepted to your first choice for college, maybe it's time to take the rejection party's pledge. To realize, to realize. And move forward. I solemnly pledge. Solemnly pledge. Solemnly pledge. To realize that my potential and promise is never determined by the college I attend and ice cream heals all wounds. In Los Angeles, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News. I love that. They all have great potential and will go on to do great things. A Burbank hospital is welcoming back its first ever COVID patient who was also one of the first Americans to be infected with the coronavirus. <laughs> Greg Garfield spent more than 64 days at St. Joseph Medical Center in 2020. It's now been exactly three years since he has fully recovered and left the hospital, which is pretty remarkable because this all happened before the vaccine was available and his chance of survival was a very slim 1%. Hospital officials call him their miracle patient. He handed out some donuts at the hospital as a thank you. We love those donuts. As we begin Teacher Appreciation Week, we want to celebrate the Glendale Unified School District's Teacher of the Year. Let's clap it up. This is Noreen Yapunjin, and she's a sixth grade teacher at Balboa Elementary School. But among her students, she's better known as the GOAT, the greatest of all time. So what makes her so great? Well, she cares deeply about her students, remembering all their names, all names of 110 students, remembering what they do on the weekends and for extracurricular activities. That's amazing. Also, she tries to remember why she got into teaching in the first place, being the adult that we all wish we had while growing up. 
And if you ever remember being 12, 13, sometimes your parent is not that adult that you want to go to. And I've found that like the number one priority for me is connecting with my students. Um, once your students feel like you care for them, this is a safe space. They are loved. They walk through the door and it's a place where they want to be. Learning will happen. Mrs. Yapunjan says since she won the Teacher of the Year Award last month, many of her past students have reached out to her. She says just knowing she made an impression on some students is the true winning part for her. We're so proud of her and we admire and love all of our educators. This summer, teens can stay active and healthy at any Planet Fitness location for free, and we like free. The Fitness Center's annual high school summer pass program is now in its third year and open to teens ages 14 to 19. Planet Fitness says this is a fun and judgment-free way for teens to stay active. The World Health Organization recommends that kids up to age 17 should get an average of at least 60 minutes of physical activity to get a physical and mental health boost. The high school summer pass program runs from May 15th through August 31st. I'm Star-Lord. I formed the Guardians. Met a girl. The Guardians of the Galaxy are back on top of the box office. The third movie in the franchise brought in more than $114 million during its opening weekend. It knocked off the Super Mario Brothers movie, which spent four weeks at number one. Both movies star Chris Pratt. He's booked and busy. A financial website is giving someone an opportunity to make $1,000, but you better enjoy the Fast and Furious movies. So you'll have to binge watch all 10 films to earn the cash. Finance Buzz is looking for what they call a Fast and Furious claims adjuster. You have to watch all 10 movies, roughly 20 hours total, and track damage from every single crash that happens in the films. The info will be used for an article. Finance Buzz is accepting applications on its website. You'll also get an extra $100 to cover expenses like popcorn and snacks. That's the best part, right? You gotta have your popcorn and snacks. You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune into Today in LA on NBC4, weekdays, 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with traffic reports throughout the morning. I'll see you next time on The Rundown.